episode. Okay, we are recording and welcome, family. That's right. To the family tree. Another episode of Holistic Health for you and your family. How about that? You know, if you are joining us for the very first time, welcome. Yes, uh, this yes. is actually open forum. We can talk about anything we got to talk about that's dealing Ooh. with the family, right? How about that, y'all? Yes, you know, yes. we gather around the tree because if there's no other place to get it, that's your social security. Your social yeah, security is right. what? Your family. Your How family. about that? So with that being said, I want, want to welcome again everyone. If you're coming for the first time, uh, we're going to open up my co-host and hostess with the mostest Look is out. Bill 1L Morgan over there. Whoop, Let's get whoop, Bill whoop, a whoop, hand whoop, over whoop. there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bill 1L Morgan. <laughs> All right, Bill. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> hey, Big B, how yeah, you man. doing there, buddy? Yeah, I'm doing well. I had a little bit of water over here in New Jersey today, just a tiny bit. But I tell you, it's just kind of cooled over. I had some sun just before the sun went down. And hey, you know what? We're in good shape over here, man. All right, all Glad right. Glad to have everybody over in Pennsylvania with us here today. Pennsylvania. <laughs> Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we're doing good over here. You know, we stay in and keep it. We say praying and rowing the boat. That's what we're right. doing. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> so, all right, we're going to get started. But Big B, you know, so much going on in the world, family. Uh, tell us what's going on. You know, we always like to start off with the news. Yes. And yes. the news is, of course, the top topic that's always on, you know, in on the forefront of everything is this coronavirus. Yes. What's going on, Big B? Well, listen, updated as of uh, five minutes ago, Dr. Paul. These are the quick facts, guys. For And by the way, coming from our favorite website, that's ncov2019.live, okay? And uh, listen, here we go. Total confirmed cases, 144,398,135. Those are the total confirmed Ooh. cases worldwide, everybody. Okay. Now, total critical, 109,652. Okay. Just total critical. I think about this on the grand scale now. We're not talking about the United States. We're talking about the entire world for family. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Total deceased, 3,070,147. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, mm-hmm. Go from there to the total active cases, where we're looking at what? 21,626,753, all right? Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. It's, it's more like this. It's just, it's just different. And mm-hmm. the total recovery, this is, okay, now, this, this is the head moment. This is the head moment when we get, we get really he- heavy and, and get good because we remember, Dr. Paul, find, find your drum roll. Who's that? You come on. Look out, look out, look out, look out, y'all. Here we go now. Total recovered. You can stop now. <laughs> 122,861,649, wow. guys. Wow. That's a See lot that? of people, y'all. That's a lot of people, man. It's, that's a lot of people to have uh, recovered from yes. this coronavirus that you don't know about. You know, we need some level of encouragement. You know, gloom and doom is so much that you know it's gotten to the point where it overwhelms you mm-hmm. know people that's why so many people were rejoicing yesterday with the you know george floyd indication we know we want to give a quick shout out i'm so proud yes. and happy for the family yes, that, yes you know that finally justice was was served you know that we really you know no matter what the situation is you you have to have some kind of understanding that right. with this, this system sort of re uh, reiterates that you know the system still works, and that yes, I'm so yes. glad that there was a sen- or the decision rendered that it was uh, putting them taking in perspective. So that's why so much gloom and doom, and you know what we hear, and you see, you know, room, you know, rumors of war. You know what's going on. People are not talking about what's going on in Russia right you now. You know, right? You know yeah. the borders. You know they're even saying that possibly. There's some things that are not just being reported. So, yes, yes. you know, it's enough to make you want to go mm, crazy. <laughs> you know? Man, that's so true. So with that all being said, you know, tonight I want to go into, I have a topic of some things I want to cover. But if you have a question, if you're here for the first time, you can go down to the uh, chat okay. area or reaction and put your name up, put your hand up, raise your hand up, and we'll get the question for you. If you are someone, you know, make sure you go down to the chat space mm-hmm. on your on your right at the bottom of your screen and you'll be able to put a reaction in there. I think it's reaction, right? Is it reaction? Mm-hmm. Yep, I think it's reaction. Yeah, raise your hand, right? Raise where you your see hand reaction. Your reaction. Okay. 
and we'll get you a question. Put a tonight. question. You, you hit the chat box and it'll pop out to the right and right. put your question in there. And uh, if Dr. Paul gets gets running, sometimes sometimes he does that. Put your question. In. If I see it, I'll try and get his attention and we'll see if we can get it in and get the right. question. Also, that is correct. So if you are someone, uh, if you're someone that's calling by phone, you know, sometimes they'll say, well, I'm on the phone and I can't see, I can't raise my hand. That's okay. Just let us know and we'll try to get you in. All right. All right, family. I'm still letting folks in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, everyone. Welcome in. And I want to go to, is that Karim? Karen, first one. Look out, Karen got in the front. Karen, you the snuck back. in the front. He Ooh, snuck in the door. He snuck hey, second, in the front door. Second time. Good evening. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening. All right, man. Good evening, Karen. Just fine. Just fine. All right. Yeah. Good. All right. I'm well. Very well. Uh, question for you. Are you familiar with something called the lipoma? Lipoma? L I P O M A. Mm, lipoma. Okay. Okay, oh. what is uh, lipoma? Mm -hmm. A fat tumor? Right, you, you may be talking about, yeah, it may come in a lot of different forms. You know, it's just the same. What we look at it as just fatty tumors on the body. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, is there any way to get rid of those uh, other than having them cut out? And it, out? De it depends on what part of the body is on. That's Eat. where... Feet. I've seen them on feet, and I've seen them on like the side. But mm -hmm. So uh, feet. Yeah, you know, remember, fatty tumors are just isolation. Whenever you have fibroid cyst tumors or anything, it's isolation. It's basically the body trying to isolate poison, toxins, that whatever is fluid or some form. You know, it's just isolating. So we do things. There are some. Uh, things that we use to put on top of those. You know, there is a formula, not to diagnose, treat, kill, prevent any disease, just food for the soul, family. Mm -hmm, there is mm -hmm. a formula that we call Dr. Christopher's Black Ointment. That's what it's called, Dr. Christopher's Black Ointment. And that pulls out a lot of toxins, you know, as far as with the skin. Uh, back in the day, Folks would use uh, for any fatty tumors or anything that's on the system, they would use uh, any growths. Uh, they would use this thing called uh, black salve. Anybody ever heard of black salve? Yeah. Y'all remember, yeah some, of the, yeah, some folks say, yeah, I used to go to the store and get it, right? <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Black salve. Well, this is a, a cut down version of black salve. Okay, and you can buy it right online. It has the primary herbs in there. It does not have one of the most powerful ones in there, which is called blood root. But it does have other ones in there like chaparral, mm -hmm. uh, sheep sorrel. Um, also, uh, those herbs that go in and go under the skin, okay, Wayne? They, they yeah. penetrate the skin so that you can go deep in and pull out the poison and the toxin or whatever's trying to come through. Chaparral is high on that one. Got it? So those are the ones that, you know, I would recommend for that. Okay? Black Dr. Christopher's Black Ointment. That's what it's called. Got it? Okay. All Thank right, you. Carol? No problem. Right. No problem. All right. All right. Who we got here, Big B? Uh, let's see here. Uh, Donna wonder is is liquid chlorophyll good for you? If so, what is good brand and how do you suggest its use? Right. Liquid chlorophyll is remember anything that's green is chlorophyll. That's like plant melanin. Yes. Plant melanin, plant pigmentation. And whenever you have uh, things like um, sh uh, anything of chlorophyll, it is actually the part of the plant that is actually the highest magnesium and hydrogen of the plant. So when you buy chlorophyll, it's usually from alfalfa. It's usually from alfalfa. It is very good for congestive issues. We give it to children. You know, when children are very mucusy, they have a lot of mucus in their system. Or if you have, you know, if they're colicky or have a lot of mucus, we put a little bit of that in the baby bottle baby immediately on contact the stuff starts spewing out it is a expectorant mm -hmm. got it because it's highly alkaline so when you take it it's going to actually start to spew out 
mucus. Mucus is acid forming. So when you mm -hmm. have this chlorophyll, which you can get it in a little bottle, you can also add like one capful in your water. So every time you have water, you can add a little bit of that in there. That's plant melanin, but it's also very good as a way of cleaning the body. It's mm -hmm. also considered a detergent for your intestines. You know, uh, specifically with situations like halot uh, anything like halitosis. Anybody ever had experience with halitosis? No, nobody. Mm-hmm. Halitosis, bad breath. Bad breath. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, bad breath. You know, some people, you ever had somebody, every time you see them, you meet them, they, they say, I saw you last time, but still got that bad breath. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's mm -hmm. usually... <laughs> So that, coming. that actually does still happen y'all so what you're um what you want to do is uh just understand hold on let me get these folks in all right more folks coming in uh when you have um if you want to clear out the intestines that's what you would use okay mm -hmm. liquid chlorophyll very good all right uh, it's also a good mouthwash uh, it's a lot of things you can use it for. Usually, sometimes they'll, they may add things like peppermint to it as a flavor. But yes, very good. Okay, all right. All right. What about ulcerative colitis? Yeah, colitis issues with digestive issues. Yes, it would be very good for that. Okay. Yes, good. absolutely. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, really mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Anything dealing with the that's going to support the good bacteria in your gut. You got it. It's going to mm -hmm. be issues. Colitis actually comes in with the, you know, the IBS, you know, the Crohn's, all those issues that has everything to deal with uh, dealing with irritable bowel issues. It's inflammation in the gut, usually because of too much acid forming foods, mm -hmm. got it? Too much acid forming foods. So, or breaking down as an acidic ash in your gut. So you can use things like, um, <clears throat> like the liquid chlorophyll will work. Also, another one, aloe vera, as Laverne is showing up here on the screen, aloe vera gel. Uh, another one would be, um, we always talk about the papaya. Yes, 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 yes. You know, yes. the papaya. There are digestible enzymes if you want to get in that realm, in that realm. But those all bring, the green drink will all bring good things to the gut. You got me? So that's why you want to keep and support the good bacteria. Which is what charge, by the way? Is that positive or negative charge? Ah, uh, see, I thought y'all was going to get away with this. <laughs> what charge is that in your gut when it's good? Negative. 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 I got too much dissension going on in here. <laughs> Negative. 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 All right. All right. All right. Kamara, what did you say, Kamara? Negative. You said you negative. Us last, you scolded us last week. I about scolded y'all last week. <laughs> <laughs> she uh, said scold. <laughs> no, we, we never scold. I never scold. We courage, but we no, don't ever uh, scold. Dr. Paul, I was the one that asked a question about ulcerative colitis. Yes. Um, Is there uh, like a regimen you would suggest in order to try to clear it up? Well, that's what we were saying. You remember, the things that you want to do is positive. You want to have good things that have good, that support the good bacteria. Got it? So that's staying away from the acid-forming foods. First thing you got to do is you got to get your water right. Okay? Make sure your water's right. Alkaline-based waters would be what? Spring water bottle at the source. Got it? Mm -hmm. But also, when you remember what the difference of what the war is going on inside of the gut. The war that's going on inside of your gut has everything to do with that positive and negative charge, right? So, for example, if you have uh, everybody on here is saying that it's a negative charge, which is a good charge, which I will say is correct, Kamara, <laughs> which is a good one. But so many things that break down in the, in the digestive system support the positive charge. So that's fermented foods, refined sugar, refined salts. Refined oil. You got to stay away from those. Top 10 toxic foods are on my website. I do suggest that you download those. Got it? All right. So is that Mia that had that question? Mm -hmm. Right. That's, yeah, 
Yeah, so you have to do the things that support the good bacteria. Remember, what's the difference between good and bad bacteria? Anybody? Yeah. Hmm? Anybody? Good and bad bacteria. Acid and alkaline. Right. Acid and alkaline. But what makes the difference? I thought all bacteria was bad. The bad bacteria would poop out bad stuff. <laughs> okay. Take care of that. <laughs> Who said that, Cynthia? Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, what's the good bacteria do? Well, that will give you the good stuff when it digests whatever, you know. Everybody, it gives you, like you said, it, every, every um, organism will eat and then, you know, eliminate. The good so bacteria when, gives you nutrients. Right. Ah, who said that? Is that Khadija? Yes, sir. You're absolutely correct. So that remain that means remember, always remember the war that's going on is by the billions. It's a war going in your gut. Remember anything that eats defecates. Got it? So if it eats, it defecates, goes through a cycle. It's a rhythm. That's a circadian rhythm, right? So bad bacteria, when it eats, it defecates toxins. When good bacteria eats, it defecates nutrients. Now, when you have negative or that, that, that bad bacteria overtaking the good bacteria, that's when you start to create inflammation because the body's trying to correct the problem. That's when it starts to have the irritable bowel issues. That's where the colitis issues come from. You got me? So what, what foods would you start to eat to support the good bacteria? That would be what? All... I was supposed to say something right there. <laughs> all green foods, green all alkaline-based alkaline, foods, yeah. right? Alkaline-based alkaline yeah. food, which is a negative charge. Got it? That's what you would do. So, Mia, you got to get on an alkaline-based diet. Got it? Stay away from fermentation. There's a lot of people saying to be probiotic. Don't be probiotic. You be prebiotic. You create the probiotic. Got it? Got it. Because a lot of people are taking like the kombucha, kimchi, and it's a temporary fix, but the long term is going to convert back to acid and it's going to tear your stomach up. You're always going to have a continuous problem. It's only after you've gone through the distance and says, look, I got to stop. Only life begets life. Got it? So you got to stay on that life tip, right? All right, family? Something like the meat and stuff. How does that impact? Well, meat breaks down into what's called an acidic ash. Okay, so You're any welcome. meat you any meat you eat, hello everyone, is going to break down hello. is going to break down to an acidic ash. That means when it breaks down to an acidic ash, it's always going to be on the gut. So you got to stay off the meat. Okay. All right, Mia. It's Maya, but thank you. Is that Maya? Maya? Okay, I'm it's sorry. Maya. Is that okay. me or Maya? Okay, Maya. It's Maya. It's Maya. Okay. Well, put that up here right. so we don't get beat up, Dr. Paul. Yeah. Maya. Maya. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Maya. Oh, Maya. <laughs> all right. All right. Let's see who else we have here as I let more folks in. Uh, doesn't uh, overeating have a negative effect on the acid buildup? Overeating. Uh, overeating depends on what you're eating, but yeah, you don't want to, you want to overeat of anything, you know, overeating, uh, you got to ask yourself, why are you overeating? Hungry. You know, yeah. Huh? You're hungry. <laughs> She's a hungry. <laughs> well, when you're hungry, when you're overeating, you got to realize that, you know, when it's a, it's usually a gut issue, you got to watch the burn, right? See, what's happening, if you can't assimilate any food, then the body's going to say, store it up. I can't absorb it, so I'm going to store it up, store it up. And then you still, your body's like still saying, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. Feed me, feed me. And you say, I think I want something else. Let me go back in the refrigerator. You're going back in there again, got it? So that's why you got to make sure that you deal with your gut issues, got it? So clean the gut, clean the gut, all right? All right, who we got up here? We got uh, let me see what we got here. Big B, you got any questions over there? Well, there was a question about tapeworms, there was an also a comment about emotional eating, what you were just talking about. Yeah, emotional eating. Where do we get tapeworms from, and how do we how do we handle it? Yeah, you have to. You that would be a cleanse. You have to go back to a cleanse, and that cleanse would be colon cleanse and parasite cleanse. Okay, it's one two sweep. 
That's what I have a colon cleanse and a parasite formula. We try to do at least about a 40 day detox on that. 30 to 40 days is really where you want. Remember, parasites are everywhere. There is a parasite for every organ in your body. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. oh, that's mm. deep. That's deep. That's there's deep. a liver parasite. Yep, there's a kidney parasite. There's parasites all throughout the body. They tend to be more active in the evening. Now, why would they be more active in the evening? Anybody know why? Body's more relaxed. Who said that now? I did. Yeah, what did you say? Because your body's more relaxed. Yep, you're slowing down. Bloodstream slows down. So when the body slows down, heart rate goes down, you know, you finally say, I think I'm going to lay down now. Parasites say, hey, party time. I know, that's right. Time to roll. <laughs> time to roll now. Party time. And that's why a lot of uh, parasites end up, you know, going to the places in the body where they can uh, they can feast more. And that's in the intestines and, the, and also the anus and all of those areas. That's why people are scratching at night. That's a lot to do with that. Children used to have a thing where their butts used to be up in the air. Yeah. That used to be a sign, believe it or not. When their butts were up in the air, that's because they literally were, they were itching at the rectum. That's why they were doing that. They have an issue with sugar. Watch the sugar. Sugar always attracts parasites. Got it? All right. Y'all yeah, wanna hear nothing about parasites tonight. <laughs> <laughs> they, they they brushed off. Everybody get quiet on the parasite. Yeah, that's all right. Just start scratching. We don't want you to know it though. <laughs> huh? Yep, 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 yep. All right, I got Troy over there. Troy. Hey, Dr. Paul, how you doing, sir? Oh, I'm doing well, my brother. How you doing? Uh can't complain. Can't complain at all. Um, real quick question. Um, I remember like a few weeks ago we were talking about the chakra stones and putting them in front of the uh, tv and you and your computers yeah if you have like a large tv does it matter what size stone you put in front of the tv like if you got like a 75 inch tv you got like a small stone like the size of a pebble or should you like a bigger nah, size uh, yeah yeah you're gonna need a good size man you get a nice size if you get something like a like a 75 inch can you see that right there yeah i can see that that's a nice size right there see right there that's an yeah. amazon that's an amazonite, amazonite. That's what I keep in front of my screen right here. I keep in front of all my computer screens right here. This right here. It's called Amazonite, and it is actually a reflecting of radiation. Amazonite. Has Can you that spell that for me? A-M-A-Z-O-N-I-T-E. Amazonite. One of those. The one I have now much small, much smaller than that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Then you can get a good shungite stone also. You know, we keep a lot of good shungite around. Uh, let's see here. I have uh, just a lot of stones you keep around. You try to keep them around where the monitors are, you know, mm -hmm. preferably in the area where the plug goes in. That's the highest radiation. So whatever side your TV is on, uh the side where the power goes in that's where you would hit it first right there mm -hmm. so if you oh. have a tv and you're looking at a tv and then you're looking at the tv and it's on the right hand side where the plug goes in that's the right. side where you want to put the amazonite or the shungite or any of the stones like the tourmaline mm -hmm. things like mm -hmm. that you know that knocks it down also another one is called spectrolite uh mm -hmm. spectrolite or uh, Labradorite. These are the, the stones that you should familiar, familiarize yourself with that reflect radiation and light and pushes it off of you. Also, Moki stones. Moki stones. Moki. Moki. M O K I. Mm -hmm. Moki is uh, ancient ore. That's ancient iron. But it's magnetized. It's magnetized. Uh, magnetized. Uh, or that's what it is magnetized iron got it okay all right Thank good you, stuff sir. man yeah good stuff man keep that radiation off you man that's right all right who we got here kamara go ahead kamara okay good evening everyone and always bless you dr paul and bill so i had my cholesterol done uh it came back at a rate of 200 Okay. Uh, but it was flagged as abnormal because my LDL 
is 112 and my HDL is 77. Mm -hmm. So, of course, I want to bring that LDL down. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, low density, that's correct. Mm -hmm. Right. So, any recommendations other than what I would just find? <clears throat> Yeah, I would really, you know, whenever I see the cholesterol levels up, you're getting something concentrated. Usually, I start where the oils are. You got to start where the oils. Got it? So how's your oil? What kind of oil you have? Oh, I use um, sesame, sunflower, and olive. Okay, and they're unrefined, right? Yes, because of you. Yeah, you got to make sure they're unrefined. You, you did that. So were you prior to that, were you doing other oils, like vegetable oil, canola oil, yes, stuff this, like that? This, this, this tr transition has been <clears throat> recent, so this yep. result is probably from the previous behavior. There you go. There you go. So that means that we have to go back to the declotting of the herbs, or the herbs that declot. Got it? So those would be things like the, uh, you know, of course, you know, number one, I say you got to go with the garlic and the onions y'all those are the two especially that onion tea that's it you just got to get it more on a regular basis you know if you apply that principle you're going to see the change you're going to see the change so it's it's uh on our uh rm3a it pulls up as the triglycerides that pull and you can see there's five types that we come up with one is type one would be totally clear two three would be about halfway which means that it's halfway closed four and five always five would be blocked so you got to get something moving you got to clean those arteries and veins because what's happening is you need something to go in there like a scrub brush you know and that scrub brush is going to be something that has you know the allium family which is the uh the onion and the garlic work excellent for that Got it. So if you're doing the red onion tea, drop a couple of cloves in there. Uh, Got it. Drop a couple of cloves in there and let that go. That also builds blood count too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Builds blood count. So that's an excellent tea for you. All right. Also another one that scrubs the arteries and veins would be asparagus. Oh, asparagus. Okay. Mm-hmm. Got it. Yeah. And I like uh, that. Mm -hmm. that. That's going to be easy. Right. And also, if there were any herbs, uh, not to diagnose, treat, care, prevent any disease, just food for soul, that would be horse chestnuts and butcher's broom because they dilate. They dilate. Toot, open them up. Start to get circulation going. So those would be the uh, declotting. Okay. Okay. Declotting um, types of foods and herbs. Yeah. All right. And in the last few weeks, I've increased my exercise too. Yeah, but it's that, or it's that because, you know, at that rate, you're going to get on a statin, or if they're going to try to put you on a statin. Mm -hmm. Is that what they're trying I'll to get, do? I'll get, no, no. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. You said mm, they're, recommending, nah. <laughs> they're recommending change of diet, exercise. Um, yeah, that's what they recommend. Yeah. Yeah. You got to do something that, that changes the game. You got to, but you got to be consistent with it. You know, we talked last week uh, on the show. I did Saturday's show was about the clotting of the herbs. I don't know if y'all heard that one. But uh, you can go back to uh, Saturday's show. I talked about that a lot, about how you can declot the arteries and veins. You know, because that's mm -hmm. what, you know, people were talking about. They were getting, mm -hmm. uh, because of the issues that were going on with the J&J &J shot. You remember? With the J and J shot, a lot of people are clotting up. So so you can actually start to do things that, that actually break that down. You gotta break that stuff down, y'all. Cause uh the endothelia, but you know what comes with that also, Kamara? Exercise. We gotta we gotta make sure we're getting enough sweat to move the toxins out of the body. So that's consistency with something that you're doing every, you know, when I say family, if you out here listening about the, the, to do your exercise, you got to do the exercise. I want to give you a heads up. You can do this exercise, but here's a big one. Do it the same time every day. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you that does wonders. You get into what that's called that circadian rhythm, but something extra happens with the lymphatic system that purges when you do it the same time every day. So if it's eight o'clock, nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, whatever your choice, 
Just make sure you do it. Got it? Stay in that rhythm. Dr. Paul. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Kamara. Appreciate you. Thank you. All right. Dr. Paul. Okay. Doesn't um CoQ10 help you if, you're, if you're on statin drugs? Yes, that is correct. CoQ10 is good. When they wanted to figure out, everybody know what she's talking about? CoQ10. Mm -hmm. Everybody ever heard of that? Mm -hmm. CoQ10. It's a coenzyme. Okay, coenzyme 10 is found in every cell in your body. Okay, found most in your heart and in your brain. It's in every cell, but highest in your heart and in your brain. It's the coenzyme. It's like the spark plug. Mm, the far, the far, fires off. Bam. That's what moves in like a spark plug to a car. When they wanted to figure out what makes the heart keep on pumping. You know, they say, really, we have no idea what makes the heart say, boom, 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 boom. You know, take the next bump. What makes it continue to do it? Because it can just say, you know what? That was my last one. I don't want to do uh -huh. no more. Oh, that's right. You got me? What makes it take the next move? And they said it has a lot to do with the CoQ10. Got it? So when they wanted to find out the CoQ10, they started to add it in places like Canada. Okay? If you are on a statin, just like Kamara, you know what I was saying? They're trying to put you on a statin if you're, if you're, if you're not careful. If you are on a statin, they would not, in Canada, will not give you the statin without giving you the CoQ10 because the statin medication reduces the amount of CoQ10 in the system. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's, deep. That's pretty deep. But here in America, <laughs> you can get a statin with no CoQ10. Oh, heartbeat. So I recommend a high CoQ10. When you want to do this, you got to get a high level of CoQ10 because you need to have it. Yeah. I see the one you have, Laverne. Yeah. Yeah, I would say that's 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 okay. Mm -hmm. So I would recommend one that uh, you're really you're trying to get a high milligram on that. You're trying to get as close to anywhere from six hundred to a thousand milligrams a day if you are someone dealing with heart rhythm issues. Got it? Usually that's where you are, about a thousand milligrams, close to a thousand milligrams if you can. Now, the highest you're going to be able to buy that, though, is going to be 600 per capsule. 600 per capsule. You got that? Some of them have, there is, um, I think it's Doctor's Best has the highest one. It's one called Doctor's Best. Mm hmm and that's the highest one you're going to get. And that's the CoQ10, and that's going to be probably about 1,000 milligrams. But that in, combina in combination with something like a hawthorn berry is very good for the heart, good for the rhythm. But I'm going to back up two steps. I'm going to tell you that a majority of the heart problems that we're seeing has everything to do with the back. You got to make sure your back is right and your back is not out of alignment. You know what I mean? Folks come in and we look and they say, I've been taking medication 10, 20 years or more. Mm -hmm. They don't go nowhere. But guess what? Nine times out of 10, that person has a bad back. The T2 and the T5, thoracic 2, thoracic 5. You want to make sure that you're in alignment because if not, the bone touches nerves, sits on that nerve, cuts the signal, oxygen, and nutrients to your heart. So when they say, oh, you just got a weak heart. Oh, I don't know. You know, just not getting that signal in there. That has everything to do with that. Got it? Bone touching nerve. So you got to make sure you have a, a not a misalignment in the middle of your back. If your back's been hurting, you got high blood pressure. Sometimes T2, T5 has something to do with the chest. So you got a little uncomfortableness in the chest. Got it? Deals with the coronary arteries. T2 deals with coronary arteries. Got it? T5 deals with the lower coronary arteries and also the liver. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So that person sometimes T5 deals with something like... Um, It'll deal with people having detox problems. Can't seem to detox. 
You know, I'm telling y'all the, the, the backup that I'm seeing more of anything is that lymphatic system is under a major attack right now. The lymphatic system is mm -hmm. under major attack. And we did show the lymphatic system that day, didn't we? Didn't mm -hmm. we, be? We, yes. showed the, we showed the lymphatic yep, system. Turn it in. You got a lymphatic chart over there? I'm trying to find it right now. Yeah. I do have one here somewhere. Yeah, I want y'all to get on that lymphatic system. You ever been exercising? And when you exercising, you might walk or something, and or you get off a bike. And then when you come off the bike, you start oh. itching. You start itching in your legs. Ah, ah. It's like it's a crazy itch on your back or in your legs and you're like oh my gosh what is going on i'm like itching all in my legs oh feel like it's on the inside of your leg yeah you ever had that feeling yes that's lymph moving got it that's what lymph is see what bill has over there that's the lymphatic chart right there see there so the lymphatic system is a secondary circulatory system. This is a system that's backing up with mostly everyone right now. And if you're not careful, it does not have a pump. It only it's, the, it's a secondary circulatory system, not like the first, which has a pump, which is your heart pumps, arteries, and veins. This one has does not have a pump. So guess what? You got to get out there and move because it only has... Muscles that overlap and they twitch and they only move when you move. That's why when you started doing all that moving, it started moving and then it started getting, oh man, my mm -hmm. legs is, oh, oh, that itching is driving me crazy. Yep. That's lymph moving. Got it? So that sewer system of the body is backing up with a lot of people. And I'm going to tell you, uh, you know, when you are, Backing up, you got to get it moving. That's why you keep sweating. Every day you should sweat, right? Get on a bike. Who had a bike in here? Who has some kind of apparatus? All right, raise your hand if you got an apparatus. <laughs> I Fred have an elliptical. Hill, elliptical machine, a, a, a bike, uh, something. And I'm not talking about the one sitting down there as a giant hanger. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> with all your clothes mm -hmm. on <laughs> if y'all say oh this is a perfect hanger right here i have a power hook <laughs> that's a power hook a, no a power hoop it's a, power a, power hoop. Hoop. It's a, it's a um it's a five pound um thick hula hoop so oh, okay Okay. And so you know that moves the whole body real Yeah, good. that's right. Oh, right. It force right. you to move, right? You got to move now. Yeah, you can't the, slow down. Work with that too. Yeah. I know. I know. That's right. Because it's heavy, so it takes a lot to keep it up. That's right. Okay. That's right. Okay. See, it's guaranteed to work, right? You got to keep it moving. You don't move it, you lose it. Lose it. Got it? I All have right. A question for you. I okay. It, Dr. Okay, Paul. Nadine. Nadine, you go ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you. Uh, good evening, everyone. <clears throat> I had. Um, noticed my son who's 24 he just had overcome COVID and then he had a bump about the size of a, a penny um a little penny uh, uh ball gumballs underneath his armpit mm -hmm. now during his week-long um a COVID illness I had been giving him a lot of uh you know fresh ginger tea um mm -hmm super detox things of that nature mm -hmm. you know homemade um soups with homemade broths all of that it wasn't no meat we wasn't doing it because we was on the um 40 day lint fast also so mm -hmm. what was that his body detoxing probably a little bit too fast it went away because we you know i started doing dry brushing mm -hmm. uh, underneath the armpit and doing um a dry brushing in other areas of his body Mm hmm. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah, that's actually what's happening. See, under your armpit, that's the auxiliary node. That's the primary node. So you have vessels all over the body, like veins. And those are the dumping places. Remember what the whole process is that when when you have bacteria, virus, fungus, septus, parasites, cancer, anything that's an, an attack to the system that the body has to push or purge out, it puts it in the lymphatic system. It's trying to get rid of it. It's recognized it already as a poison 
It's done its work for when cells actually are dying. You say, all right, you've, you've done your work. You, 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 you suffice your service. It's time to go. Dumps it into the lymphatic system. Lymphatic system moves this stuff out of you. But it moves it very slow because, remember, it is poison, right? So that's why it's moving very slow. Sometimes you can get what's called lymphatitis. Lymphatitis is actually an infection in the lymphatic system. You got it? That's when sometimes women, you may have had something where your breast gets swollen around on a certain side or in the mm -hmm. corner or something, and it swells up. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. what it is. That, that could be an infection in that lymphatic node. And then sometimes it'll turn different colors and it might swell. That's trying to get out under the arm. Remember, this pair right here is for the face, the head, forehead, scalp, and also for the neck. Got it? Goes right out here. That's the way it recirculates. The body says, wait a minute, I'm going to get rid of this one more time. I'm going to say I'm going to recirculate because I might have missed some protein, some iron, some magnesium, potassium, whatever I miss. I'm going to recirculate it one more time before I get rid of it. Got it? Mm -hmm. So as I do this process, I'm going to actually roll it out of here. This is like the gates. I call it the gates, but it's like a turnkey. It's like the gates here. You got a pair of gates here. And you got a gates in the groin. Usually when there's inflammation in one area, it also corresponds in those areas also. Sometimes you'll feel a little knot in those areas under mm -hmm. the armpit. Yes, yes, and then yes. sometimes there will be a boil that forms in that area. It's yeah. trying to amass the poison to pull it out of you. So that's the last resort is to send it to the surface of the skin. So that's when you start to do those herbs and things that purge. Now, I'm going to give you a heads up on one that I recommend highly for purging the lymphatic system. Not to diagnose, treat, cure, prevent any disease, just food for the soul. That would be chaparral. Chaparral. But when you take chaparral, you must drink a lot of water. This herb is very powerful. It's a powerful herb that even when you bag it, you can smell it through the bag. That's how strong it is. So chaparral is can one that it? actually is C-H-A-P is in Paul, A-R-R-A-L. There you go. Thank you. Got it? So chaparral, yes. that would be your herb of the day right there. Got it? I was trying to see if I can get... Uh... Yeah. Let me see if I can find one here. Yeah, we got another one here. I can I can pull something here. I wanted to I wanted to pull something up just to let folks see what this is. And I'm gonna share this screen here. I just want to say a couple of things about this one here. How do you take the chaparral? Yeah, I'm gonna show you in a second. Uh can y'all see that? Yes. Okay, so if everyone's looking at this, there you go. Right, see the the human body needs to move. The lymph system bathes every cell, carrying nutrients to the cell and waste products away. Contrary to blood, which is pumped by the heart, the lymph is totally dependent on physical exercise. You got to move, y'all. Without adequate movement, the cells are 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 basically stewing in their own waste product and starving for nutrition. Nutrients, a situation which contributes to arthritis, cancer, and other degenerative diseases, as well as aging. Now, vigorous exercise such as rebounding, you remember I told you about the rebounder, is reported to increase lymph flow by 15 to 30 wow, times. Good. Did y'all hear that? Yes, the lymphatic fluid moves through channels called vessels, and they are filled with one-way valves. Now, so that lymph always moves in the same direction. <clears throat> That's why we do the dry brushing. The main lymph vessels run up the legs and the arms and up to the torso. This is why the vertical up and down movement of rebounding is so effective to pump that lymph. Got it? Restrictive clothing prevents the flow of both blood and lymph. Wearing a bra to prevent sagging breasts actually weakens the muscles mm. and connective tissue which helps to create sagging breasts. You got it, ladies? The free movement of the breast during walking and exercise helps to pump the lymph through the breast 
Tissue. Wow, did y'all get that? Mm. No problem. Got yes, it. Good information. You got it. So the restriction that happens when you have it under, okay, especially if there's an underwire bra pressing to your chest. You got it? What does it do? Stops the flow of the restriction of that to move. But that's also tight clothes. Tight clothes do the same thing. You got it? Too tight. Especially tight tops, things like that. So it's going to cause restriction in that lymphatic system. So be careful, okay? Rebounding helps to move the lymph. In a healthy person that moves, that pretty much exercises every single day, lymph mm -hmm. only moves one time. Got it? It only moves mm -hmm. one time in a healthy person. Mm -hmm. So can you imagine what's happening with somebody that does not exercise on a regular basis? Who maybe it moves once, uh, you know, every couple days, maybe once a week, maybe every two weeks, maybe every three weeks, maybe once a month. Some people's systems are not moving at all. <laughs> so chaparral, chaparral helps to move that. But <clears throat> remember, if you do the herbs, you got to take the if you do the herbs, you got to drink a lot of water. So chaparral comes in capsules and also comes in teas. OK, if you buy it by the tea, it's very bitter. It is one of the bitters. So what is bitters? Anybody remember what bitters are good for? Bitters. Any of the bitters. Bitters do what? They... Boom. Bind to. Remember? Bitters bind. Got it? Okay. Good one, Nadine. Good questions. All right? Thank you. All right. Who we got up there? Is that Laverne? Laverne, did you jump up there? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, Dr. Paul, thank you yeah. for having me. I want to let you know that I bought one of those ha a teeter inverter tables. Okay. It's okay. In, it's in my basement. I have a basement here. I have an exercise mm -hmm. in my basement. Excellent. You Excellent. Come up there and lock your ankles in. I guess you all have seen it advertised on television on the Home Shop Network. We used to be on there, and I just fell in love with that. <laughs> 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 I first got on it, and uh -huh. upside down. I didn't turn all the way upside down. I just you know, at an angle like this. Right. And I could feel everything. The gravity just lifted off of me. And it just, <laughs> oh, what a difference. It makes a big difference. Absolutely. I, yes, yes, absolutely. Long because I'm afraid that the too much blood would go to my head. But mm. it's a very good feeling. Okay, right. Mm -hmm. Now, keep in mind that you don't have to flip all the way over. No. You know, you don't have to unless you want to. <laughs> really, you really write this down. If you have a teeter table or, you know, any of those tables, 42 degrees is all you need 42. for it to take 42 degrees. 42 degrees is the number we use. All right. So if there's 42 degrees, you can do about 42 degrees, and that's enough to take the pressure off the spine. Yes, it yeah. does. Mm -hmm. like a brand new person. <laughs> Now, now, here's the thing, though. When you're taking the pressure off the spine, though, you have to still, you have to build the back, okay? You got to make sure you're building the back. So that means you have to strengthen the back, okay? So remember, what holds the spine in place is your back muscle. And the reason why so many people are having back issues that have constitute to now heart problems because you got a weak back. So you got to do things like the what? pulleys you remember the road machines you know the military press things like that you got it you got it so you got to do all those things and that makes a big big difference okay all right all right good questions y'all y'all got good questions all right Laverne you go ahead now with your tea to table <laughs> <laughs> I hope you get up there you can't get make sure you can get down now <laughs> All right, we got Stacy over there. Stacy, hello, hi, Dr. Paul. How you doing? I'm doing well. Doing hello, well. Hello, everybody. Hi. hi. Hey. Okay, mm -hmm. I got a couple of things going on. I am exercising. I'm doing the water right. Right. Um, no refined oil. No refined sugar. All that's great. I 
am exercising and I'm noticing that my right side is bigger than my left side. Okay. When you say right side, what side is bigger? What, what, what I mean, part? I'm talking about like even, okay, um, like I've been losing some weight. So, you know, my face is going down. Mm -hmm. But the right side is still a little puffier than the left. Mm -hmm. I was, you know, in the gym and I was just touching my thighs and I'm like, well, then my right thigh is bigger than my left thigh. Mm -hmm. And then my knee, I mean, I'm looking like what's going on. Mm -hmm. And another thing is I have never, you sweat, you have a little bit of odor, you know, underarm or whatever, but this right armpit is like, I don't know what it is. I'm taking a green drink. <laughs> I'm going, you know, and I just noticed it. I'm thinking, you know, and it's just this smell. So, and I'm like, I so, think, you know, oh my so God. Let me, so let me ask you this. Now, you just said that your right side is bigger, right? A little, you, I could tell. A little bigger. Yeah, and then you nice. said it's just a little bit bigger. Yeah. And also, that's the side that you you can tell the underarm on that side is a little, little bit, yes. a little bit strong. Okay. Yes. Okay, that's the side that needs to detox. Now, let me mm -hmm. ask you something. Are you a side sleeper on that side? No. Okay, so you're a but side. No, you know, I sleep. No, I sleep more on my left side. Okay, so that's your detox side that's having a problem detoxing on that side. There's, there's, okay. there's peripheral issues. Some people have peripheral issues on the left or the right side. And they'll notice that one side is not detoxing as much. That has everything to do with that same lymphatic system also. Okay. So yes, yes, you can you can do what's called uh pumping. Okay. Anybody know what pumping is? No. Pumping mm -hmm. is like can y'all watch me see what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. It's under the armpit. You go up in and around just like this and breathe. Whoosh. That's what you do. Up in and around. You have to open up the gate. I call it open around. up the gate. Up in and around. So in that area up under that arm, you have to start to pump. You're activating to get the lymphatic system moving. That's what yes. you do. Got it? So mm. you up in and around. Now remember the the chest, breast, midsection all go out of this area. Okay. The node that goes out, right? So mm. that means also the arm, the arm, the shoulder, the okay. arm, the arm, bicep forearm, hand, wrist, fingers, okay. all come down to here. Boom. Okay. Got it? That's mm -hmm. what's detoxes. So that's where the detox is in order. So you just have to pump that area. But remember what moves lymph. Water. A lot of water. Exercise. I'm exercising. Also stretching. Okay. Got it? Stretching. Okay. Uh yes absolutely all of that moves the lymph and remember the rebounder all those things but pump the arms up in and around and then if you find a lump anyone y'all hear me now this is important mm -hmm. y'all hear carefully. me listen carefully if you got a lump somewhere on your breast ladies or men got it wherever yeah. the quadrant of it is say for instance i don't know if y'all can let me see if i can move a camera down a little bit got it yeah if, for example, your chest is, let me slide this over. See right here? This is the chest here, eh? Uh -huh. If you find a lump anywhere on those areas, got it? Mm -hmm. From the nipple on up goes this way. Got it? Y'all follow that? Mm -hmm. From the nipple up, from yes. the nipple mm -hmm. up yeah. goes this way because you're going towards the mm -hmm. arm. Okay. Got it? Yes. From the nipple underneath goes under under up and in got it that's the way the okay. direction that's the direction of the flow goes okay. under up and in now this is the reason why so many women when they are fine lumps they're in the quadrant the far corner quadrants of the breast because as the breast especially if you're top heavy when they come down the pressure is in those corners got it so that's where you tend to find some of the lumps in those corners. Got it? So okay. you have to move. Remember, open up the gate and move it out. You got it? It's trying to get out. So that's why you have to get certain herbs that are for the process of moving lymph. That okay. would be like the chaparral, the cleavers. Another one's called cleavers. Uh, Pau de Arco. Right. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, Paul Diarco. And this off just I'm just trying to think of a few that off that I can remember. Uh things like uh burdock root. I do know, that. Yep. Yeah, those are things that move that limb. And gentlemen, you have to do it too, because yes, right. men have breast cancer too. How right. about echinacea? Echinacea is okay. Yes, echinacea is good, but that's you know, that's for other things. Uh this one you need to have be a little bit more aggressive. So things like red clover. Red clover is another one. Red clover. Got it? So these are one pine. Uh, you can do the pine bark. Okay. Pine bark is good also. Cool. Got it? Right. So these yeah. are ones that move that lymph out of the system because you got to get it out. Now, you'll notice that that lump is going to be moving. It's going to be moving, and it's eventually going to be under that arm. So remember, no aluminum deodorants. Okay, I don't. Got it. Mm -hmm. Okay, nope. now is it a certain, do you take the teas empty stomach before, after, evening, morning? There is no rule with that because everyone's okay. different. Everyone's different. Um, you try to take it, um, if, you, if, it, if it's, on an empty stomach, that would be a better one. I would say okay. for purging, but some people don't have that level yet. I say that would be the level to graduate to. So if you're starting off for the first time, it may be a little bit too aggressive for you. Mm -hmm. So start off with taking it after a meal. And then from there, as you get used to the herb, then you can start to move forward. But yes, if you start to get, remember with any herb, if you get headachy or nauseous, some people would look at that and say, you know what, Big B, that's why I ain't taking that herb no more. I know that's right. Because that, uh -huh. that thing made me, oh, I wanted to throw up. I ain't taking uh -huh. that no more, Dr. Paul. I say, uh-uh, that's exactly what it was supposed to do. Yes, it's pulling yes. the poison out of you. That's what it's I doing. Are... So the nauseousness and the headache is telling you you need more water. You're not drinking enough water. Stop everything. All drink right. water until the feeling goes away. You got it? That's the, right. okay. That's the key. That's the key. Okay. So, and just one other thing. Sure. Mm -hmm. What can you do about, like, if your toenails get thick? They get thick? Yeah. When you say uh, thick. I don't know if it, is it fungus or harder. They're getting, um, and it's, yeah. or it's just my right foot. My left foot's fine. Mm -hmm. so, um, so that's the detox side right there. Absolutely. Okay. That's your detox side. Fungus. Remember, when you are, you know, when you're building up with toxins, that's bacteria, virus, fungus, septus, parasites, all those things, they live in that environment. So right okay. now there's a peripheral thing going on. You got to start exercising that side more also. I started. You know, you know yeah. this would be an exercise right here. Okay. Got it? Start to work at underarm and then uh -huh. move, move it. Stretching. You know, things like that. Tai Chi is an excellent one. Y'all ever did Tai Chi in here? We have, you know, we yeah. used to open up every class with Tai Chi. You can go right on YouTube and just do a morning Tai Chi. Breathing exercises. You know what also helps to move the lymphatic? Breathing right. A lot of people are not breathing right. They're breathing from up here, mm -hmm. not down here. We're belly yeah. breathers. Got it? So some people are breathing up here. I say, take a deep breath. Everybody's going like this. Yeah. Got it? Everybody's doing that. Mm -mm. Belly breathers. That's like a baby. Baby breathes down here, right? You don't have to tell yes. a baby to breathe, right? Yeah, you don't see a baby doing it all like this. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Stacy. So you got some work to do on that right side, all right? Okay. All right. All right. Thank okay. you. All right. All right. Thank yes. You. Yeah, we have also tapping. Okay, that's another thing. Thank you. Who is that? Was that Candace? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Excellent point she just made. Tapping. You know, we start off every one of our classes with the tapping. Y'all ever tapped before? No. Do y'all mm -hmm. even know what I'm talking about? Got no idea. Yeah. 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 Hey, drop your pins right now. We're going to tap. All right. All right. We're going to tap. Right. We're going to right. tap. Y'all going to tap. Go ahead, Lydia. All right. Tap your hands. Yeah. Not clap your hands. Tap just, your hands. Uh, tap like me. this. Tap yeah. it all the way up to your elbow. Right? To your shoulder. Flip oh, right. over the hand on the inside. Tap, tap, tap. 
This is what moves the lymphatic system, oh, right? Here. Oh, okay. Breathe, breathe, oh. deep breathe, deep oh. breathe. Everybody doing it? All right, flip yeah. on the all other right. side. Flip on yeah. the other side. Other hand. Tap, tap, tap. All the way up. Got it. Then the other one. Wow. On the inside. Open the hand up. Breathe, 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 breathe. breathe. Right here. Tap, tap, tap. Tap on the top of your head. Mm -hmm. All right. Tap, tap, tap. Anybody home? No. So tap tap tap. This yeah, gets the scalp moving. Got it? It'll move. Breathing, breathing, breathing all the way back to the back of the head. Got it? Got it here. Tap on the face. This is what gets the acne and stuff moving out the face. Thank you, Lord. All Got right. it. Thank yeah. you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tap right yeah. here on the forehead. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Got it. That's right. Tap to the, sand, the, the side of your head. Tap, tap, tap. Come on down. Come on down. We haven't done tapping in a long time. Then you tap right here. Tap right here. Right, right up here. Right mm -hmm. here. Tap right here. See right under here. Feel your collarbone. You feel your yeah, collarbone? Right mm -hmm. yeah. Guess what? That's what? Anybody know where that is? Come on now. Somebody from the class used to be in here. I didn't know that room. Anybody in the class yeah. used to be here? See that 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 collarbone right here. See, feel your collarbone. Come right in here. Sit right up in here. See yeah, where my right necklace thyroid. is? Yeah. Right Not here. Thyroid. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Lungs? Coxic? No. Clavicle. Coxic? Your no, the coccyx no, would be your tailbone, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> your throat. Your throat. Your throat. That is oh, definitely right not right. the coccyx. Is that the thymus? Which is your heart? The thymus. Is that the thymus? Burn No, this is actually your kidneys right here. Kidneys. Oh, right oh, oh, tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. If you tap it in the right place, you can feel it right in your back. Right there, mm -hmm. tap it right there, and, doing it right and breathe and breathe. Shh. There you go, there you go. Come right to the middle. This is the thymus right here. Tap it right here. Tap tap tap. Tap tap tap. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. All right. Now you want to go in the left and the right side. Tap tap tap. Yeah. Tap tap tap. Anybody know what's on the left side when you're tapping? What's over there? Adrenal glands? No. <laughs> I don't know. The liver. The liver. 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 The, 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 other, the other left. The heart. <laughs> <laughs> the pancreas. The pancreas. The kidneys. The spleen. The pancreas and the spleen on the okay. left side. Hit your oh, left side, your oh, other left side, the, the, the <laughs> zoom left side. Yeah, that one. <laughs> <laughs> and then on your right side, that's what? Liver. Liver, liver, gallbladder, okay, the liver here. and the gallbladder. 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 You got it. Gallbladder. Got it. It's over here. Mm -hmm. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. So I want got you to it. breathe. Say breathe. Take your hands breathe. up. Breathe. Breathe. Inhale. And, and blow it out. Inhale. Exhale. Got it. See you again. Inhale. Inhale. Margaret, you about to fall asleep now. Don't fall asleep now. And I'm so relaxed, I'm about to fall out my chair. <laughs> Do that. Inhale and release. All right. All right. All right. So that simple exercise right there was was what you would do, and you would do it all the way down the legs and also. So you would tap under here. You would tap all the way under here. Okay. Okay, Stacy, and you yes. will go on the other side. Good, good. Same thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, just tap all, all right. the way down, and then okay. you can also do the I'll same thing. I'm, same thing with the coming legs. back around now. Yep, you know, same with the legs. It. You know, and okay. when you tap on the inside of the legs, you go the outside of the legs, the inside of the legs. Okay, the front of the legs and the back of the legs. Mm -hmm. All right, that's okay. what you would do. That's Got it. Okay. That'll, get it, that'll, that'll get it moving. That okay. is cool. Now, if you have a significant other, that's a great Saturday night. <laughs> so you can lay them on the table, right? And basically, you can actually help each other. You can actually uh -huh. do the massaging. That's what the whole concept mm -hmm. is a bonding technique. 
It is a bonding technique. So it definitely does things to move the lymphatic system. Don't y'all feel a little bit of energy just by doing that? Yeah. Just by doing that? You don't, don't you feel it? Yeah. 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 Woke me up. So what you can do is, you know, when you do that, when you do enough of that, yes. you can take your hands and go like this. And you might feel a little energy right in between there. Okay. I feel, feel heat. Feel it right there. Feel that little heat. See what I'm doing? All right. Yeah. Do it like that. Feel you feel heat. it? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Do it like this. Do it like this. Yeah. Take your first top hand, keep your, your bottom hand steady, and just go like that. You can feel a little energy, like a little ball right in the middle. Feel it? I feel it. Wow. Yeah. You got there it? You go. That's you called go. that's your energy. That's that's not my energy. That's your energy. That's called chi. That's your chi. That's your energy. Feel it? Mm -hmm. Oh, you just you just met yourself. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> you got it? That's your energy. energy right? So you take that energy, take that energy, rub it. And then rub it all over you. Oh, hey, hey. Rub it all over you. There you go. Do you tap your feet too? You like this? Uh -huh. Tap the hands? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna Thank I'm gonna show you how to generate more chi, all right? Thank you. They like that. Rub them hard. Rub them good. Hey, Got hey, it? Hey. Yeah. Slap hey. them together. Bring it up. Mag it. There you go. There you go, family. Got it. Got it. One more. Hey, one more time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one more time. Now, now do it. Now, now do it. Now, now do it. Now do it. Now do it. Lord, yeah. Hold it over. Feel it now. Burn it. You, you should really right. feel it right now. Just move the top one. Just move the top one. You feel like a little ball right there. Oh, yeah. yeah all right. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> now take that down. energy. Take that energy. You and rub it all you. over you. Right, yeah. right, there you go. That's mm -hmm. energy. Bring it all wow. Bathe yeah, yourself. That one. We got you. Woo. That's some serious That's energy right wow. there, y'all. Smooth. Smooth. See, see, this is the same kind of energy you need to be putting on your, you know, your children, your family. Yes, you know, when yes, somebody's yes. in the hospital, put yeah. it on them. Oh, give them your energy. This is how you give them your energy. That's what you do. And you just put it right, right over that area. You can do that with your knees, your joints, your ligaments, anything you got going on. Mm -hmm. Put that That's energy. Wonderful. Put that right here. See what we're doing? All put right. it right over that shoulder. Put it right over that shoulder. Mm. And breathe. Wow. I'm a believer. Got it? Good put it breathe. right over that thing. Put it right over your knees. You got knees hurting? Keep on breathing, though. Mm. Got it? Mm. Put it right on their knees, and then you can feel that energy. As you get stronger with this, doing it every day, you'll notice that your feel is going to get larger. The ball gets bigger. Mm -hmm. The ball oh, gets oh. bigger. The ball gets bigger. Your energy starts to grow. Got it? So you can be way right. up here, and you do like this, and you feel it on the bottom. Mm. Got it? This is all called chi. That's tai chi or qigong. Qigong. Got it? Oh. So you can actually feel that energy right in between there. Ain't that powerful? So put some of that over your mind. Sometimes when you get in a situation, you've been over somebody's house and they've been arguing, you got to do like this. When you come out their house, right. you go like this. <laughs> You're like, whoa, I got to come out of there, man. Whoa. Boy. Woo. All that bad energy. All right. That's called the <laughs> that's called the healing bath right there. You Good just had a you just had a healing bath. That's what a healing mm. bath. Thank is. you. Got you know, it? Dr. Dr. Ooh. Paul, I know you're you're telling the truth. Thank right? you. Because when my son was sick, I, I got a blow up bed and I slept in his room with him. And I noticed each night he slept throughout the night and I would pray over him. And I would just Wonderful. touch him from the top of his head to the soles of his feet with my hand. Just oh, lightly. Way to go. Mm -hmm. I'm a licensed massage therapist. And so I would just lightly touch him. You know, he ached all over, but he slept throughout Amen. the night. 
Mm-hmm. That's like right. You got to give. You can all the give. Difference. That's right. You can give someone or a significant other your energy. Someone at the hospital. Someone's suffering from pain. Things like that. You're giving a little bit of your energy to them. You got it. That's what it is. This is. We are in a situation on this planet where you are a sender, a receiver, or a balancer of energy. You mm -hmm. can do all three. You got it? You can balance it. That's why when someone says something negative to you, it's not what they're saying. It's what you're going to do with that energy yeah. right. that's out there. Are you going to respond with the same energy? Mm -hmm. or are you going to come back with, Thank you. you know, I'm just going to be chill. I ain't even going to say that now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, or are yeah. you just going to yeah. let it flow yeah. right on by you? Mm -hmm. Got it? That's you got me? Mm -hmm. So that's the key. But guess what? That's all the principle we've been talking about, right? All along. All Male along. principle, female yes. principle. Hard and soft. That's where all of this principle comes from. Got it? Hard Amen. and soft. Amen. Got it? That's the basis for all martial arts. You ever see the the hand, the, the uh, symbol that looks like this? Or like you ever see the symbol where one's going one way and the other one's going the other way? Mm -hmm. Like the yin one yang. Yin yang. Yin and yang, right? Yin and yang male female yeah. that's it balance where they never shall be divided they have to be together to make a whole it has to be male principle female principle you cut the light on you cut the light off you hit the gas you hit the brake what else you get all of that is male female got it good stuff y'all we didn't tapped it out tonight Woo! i'll tell you man Woo! all right <laughs> Tap it out. All right. Good stuff, y'all. Good stuff. I have one, uh, one question, please. Mm -hmm. Sure. You're on the phone, right? I am. Yes, okay. I am. Sure. Um, introduce doing... yourself. Introduce yourself. Oh, okay. I'm Diane. Hi, Diane. And I had asked the question last week, at, almost at the end, um, in regards to um, the lymphedema issue, if, if it sounds familiar. Um, I'm doing everything. I'm being very compliant with what you uh, told me to do. I'm doing the dandelion root. I'm doing the golden seal um, exercise in 25 minutes on the bike every day. And I'm doing, uh, I stopped taking the Kangen water and I'm doing the crystal geyser. The one question that I did have when I picked up my herbs um, from Wayne Avenue, how many times do I do the golden seal and how many times do I do the dandelion root? I'm doing two um, golden seals with each meal mm -hmm. and I'm doing three dandelion roots. Am I? Right. Whenever, when, whenever in doubt, always follow the bottle. Okay. Uh -huh. When that's for daily intake, the protocol for Golden Seal is two weeks on, right? One week off, mm -hmm. two weeks back on, and then you quit it for a whole month. Yes. Okay? Yes. I didn't. I didn't know how many times a day. That's what I'm saying. Follow yes. the bottle. That's right. Follow the bottle. So if it says two capsules three times a day, then that's what you would follow. It, it, and that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm, I'm not being smart. It doesn't on, on the bottle for the golden seal. It just says two with meals for the golden seal. And then for the dandelion root, it says three right. once a day. Right. So two with okay. meals takes in consideration three meals a day. So okay. Got two you. capsules three times a day. Right. Oh, okay. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. Am I missing anything with what I need to be doing before I see you in June? No, I think you 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 have to keep the you got to get the system moving. Yes. And that's what's happening. You got to make sure your water's right. Also make sure you have enough energy to purge. And then that means green drinks. Hydrogen is the key to it all. That's yes. the, that's the that's the key that keeps the balance and the energy in the body. Without yes. the hydrogen, there is no alkalinity now i would test your ph what's your ph do you know how to test your ph um no i don't i am doing your green drink um every morning i i i, I do that on an empty stomach i also add um chlorophyll to that is that okay to do that it's no need to do chlorophyll because okay. that's is because alfalfa is already in it that's okay. where chlorophyll comes from but okay. remember the key is to to maintain balance because you're burning up energy, you want to always do it three times a day, especially when you're purging. Oh, you're okay. Purging, you got to have a green drink three times a day. Breakfast gets you to lunch. Lunch gets you to dinner. Dinner <coughs> takes you to the next day. Oh, okay. Now, see, that's yeah. energy. That's like keeping the lights on. 
you got to keep the energy at a high level to turn it from acid to alkaline. You got it? Oh, okay, how do I test my pH? Well, you have to get what's called pH testing strips. Okay. Okay. Uh, pH testing strips. Once you have pH testing strips, you would take the uh, the formula. They're on the pH testing strips. One touches saliva right under the tongue, or you can put it on a spoon, tap it with the saliva. Num on, the, on the color matches on the back of the strips a chart, and the chart shows you where you should be. Your okay. pH should be between 6.5 and 7.5. Got okay. it? Yes. The yes. same thing would happen when you capture the urine. Capture it in a small cup, dip another strip inside of the urine, and then read it. It happens instantly. When you read that, back to that number, the formula is urine over saliva. Got okay. it? Mm -hmm. Urine over saliva, like a little math problem like a division problem, urine over saliva. Now the rule for calculation is double the saliva number, add to the urine and divide by three. So that gives you your holistic number, tells you exactly where you are on that strip. You must do both. You cannot do just one. So if you fall below a 6.5, you're in a state of too much acid. You must get alkaline some way okay yes okay? that's yes. the key that's usually when you start to really turn things around is when you notice that some people say well i can't get alkaline i can't get alkaline usually that's because it's a toxicity issue it's your liver usually that's what it is so the detox is still in order but when you come through i'll i'll uh, give you the whole breakdown of how that works and we can see exactly what's going on in the liver Got yes it? Yes, thank you very much. Okay, no problem. No problem. Good question, though. Good question. Did y'all get that? And that's always also one last thing. Make sure you do this always before a meal, never after a meal. Always before a meal when you test that. I would test your pH, and you can do that on a regular basis. If you're in a state of alkalinity between 6.5 and 7.5, that's where bacteria, virus, fungus, septic, parasites, cancer, all that stuff, even COVID cannot live in that environment. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Got it? So you stay in that zone. Guess what? Why we ain't talking about that when we talk about coronavirus? Uh -oh. Man, I don't want to the What's the zone? 6.5 to 7.5. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna show you right here. I got a uh, I got a pH chart here. Oh, cool. I'm gonna show it to you. I'm gonna share the screen real quick with your family. Uh, right here. Let me know when you see it, okay? There you go. Got you. Got it. Mm -hmm. There's your chart. See it? That's where your yes. style. That's where your chart is right there. Got it. So what you're trying to do, you're trying to maintain between 6.5 and 7.5. That's where your healthy pH, your calm, peace, balance, everything is right here. When you're over here, when you fall below 6.5 and you go this way, look what's over here. Fear, mm -hmm. tiredness, stress, anger, bacteria, virus, fungus, parasites, high blood pressure, diabetes, cancer, all chronic diseases live over here. The average diet, the average person in... Um, probably the average di American diet is always a 5-0 to 6-0, somewhere in this way. Mm -hmm. Got it? Now, you can have too much alkaline. It is something that does happen. It's kind of rare, but it does happen. That usually means that there's some liver issues going on. So mm -hmm. if it's higher than 10.0 and it stays out here too long, that could be a problem. So mm -hmm. you want to be where? You want to be right in here. Got it? So when you do that number, urine over saliva, double the saliva, add to the urine, divide by three, the ultimate should be right in here. Got it? Your number should be right in here. If you fall below here, you got some work to do. Got it? Yes. yes. Now, the balance is always 80% alkaline, 20% acid. We call it the 80-20 split. That's what we call it, the 80-20 split. We lost, lost your screen, Dr. Paul. It's no longer visible. Okay. There right is. here? Yep, that's it. 
I got I got three screens over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so right here, 80-20 split right here. That's mm -hmm. usually where you are. 80-20, 80% 80 20, alkaline, 20% acid brings you right between here. 6.5, 7.5. Not too high. Don't go too high. If you stay too high, you're going to cause a lot of other problems. Because that's when the liver is starting to, you know, a lot of issues with the liver happen there. So stay in here. Got family? Y'all got it? Got it. All righty. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, We're going to have some stuff. alkaline experts up in here. There you go. I know that's right. Mm -hmm. Y'all some right. bad something's going on in I here, boy. Big, big. big. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you all right? Oh, all right. Let's see. Who else we have? We Helen? Helen? I got you over there, Helen. How are you doing, Dr. Paul? How are you I'm, doing, Bill? Hey, everyone. Helen. Good. Hi. Right. Great. I have a couple questions uh, for you, Dr. Paul. By the way, I will be seeing you on Tuesday. All right. So mm -hmm. I'm happy. I'm looking forward to that. Yes, looking forward to it also. Yes. Great. Now, I know you were talking to somebody about um, the sunflower oil. I think I got the wrong one because it says um, refined, mm, but it is. Yeah. That's the bad that's one. That's the right. wrong one? Right. It's the one that's that the, that's not the one you want to oil pull with. You want to oil pull okay. always with minerals. The whole concept of oil pulling is that why you got it for oil pulling, right? Was it oil pulling or just for cooking? Just to fry like with it. Okay. So right. So when you uh, have the minerals, it's um it's going to be a better energy with the oil. And sunflower, okay. just like safflower, have a high smoke point. You ever go to hibachi grills? Anybody in here been to mm -hmm. hibachi grill? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's why that grill, they use sunflower and safflower because the smoke point, which means the burn point where the oil starts to burn and becomes carcinogenic, is 520 degrees. Wow. So that's some good stuff. Got it? So 520, you have some people's ovens that can't get to 520. That's the broiling. That's a broiler. Mm -hmm. So that, that oil is very, very strong. It has a lot of resistance to heat. So that's why, what does a sunflower do all day? Just chills in the sun. Yes. <laughs> ain't right? Observes Just the sun. <laughs> well, ain't good. Ain't God good. Yes, it has a resistance because it's, it has the ability to absorb a lot of sun, sunlight, energy, heat. Got it? That's why the oil is so high. Same thing with the safflower. Same thing. Mm-hmm. So my um, second question is um, for someone else. They wanted me to ask a few questions. Um, they're having like a lingering cough and phlegm comes up their throat and they have acid reflexes. What would you recommend them, you know, with the coughing and the phlegm and the acid reflex? Well, remember, it's all acid alkaline. Usually it's because of too much processed foods, too much acid forming foods. You know, the heavy meats, anything that falls on that acid side. You remember the food chart, right? Mm -hmm. I would send her over to the acid alkaline food chart. You got that one? You have that, right? Mm -hmm. Ellen, you have that? Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. You got to send her over to that. You know, a lot of people okay. have to start with the, the, the education piece is very strong, y'all. It's very strong. You, you mm -hmm. have to get folks. We have not been conditioned on the foods that we eat that mm -hmm. are acid forming. See all this over here? This is this is soul food diet over here, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. That's the soul food diet over here. Most people are over here. This is where everybody is, right here. No one can see your screen. We can't see your chart. Chart's not there, Dr. P. I thought he was talking about us. You got you it go. now? You got it now? Yep, got it. Yes. Okay, all this right here is all, this is the soul food diet right here. See right there? Right, chicken. Got it? All this stuff yes. over here. No life. No life. No life can give you life. So on here, this is where you want to be. Got it? Stay on this side. Right. Remember we talk about if you're taking the green drink, for example, you, you start in the center column. On the left side would be the most alkaline. More alkaline, low alkaline, lowest alkaline. Opposite side, lowest acid, low acid, more acid, most acid. Stay on this side as much as possible. So, for example, if we're looking at fruit, here is the highest. Pineapple, tangerine, watermelon, raspberry, persimmon, nectarine, limes. Highest alkalinity of the fruit. As you move on down the line, 
loses energy. I'll even give you this one right here. But watch what's over here. Pomegranate, cranberry, carrots. Look at that. You got right. it? Causes a lot of problems with acid in a lot of body. When people have things like urinary tract infections, first thing they're telling people to do is take cranberry juice. Yeah, Dude, worst then, thing you can do. You yes, see acid. Yes. That's why that that infection ain't going nowhere until you get out of this acid. You got it? You got to get out of there. So no cranberry, no pomegranate, no carrot. <laughs> get the ones on this side. Got it? Okay. Right. So the last question is, um, this again is this person, they were lifting some heavy um, and it brought on some strains in their muscles and their stomach was swelling for about five weeks and they wanted to know, you know, what can they do in regards to that? Yeah. Muscle pulls. Yeah. Any muscle pulls, you got to start to, um, you, you have to do things like uh, liniments, things like, uh, you know, that, um, Turpentine actually works very good. Turpentine <laughs> oil, but also combinations with things like MSM, methyl sulfony methane. MSM mm -hmm. is good for that. It helps to regenerate that. And if I were to add one more of an herb, it would be something probably comfrey. That's where comfrey okay. comes in real well with tears, muscle okay. tears, things like that. And that's, of course, not the diagnosis tree kill for any <laughs> This food for the soul. I don't know. I gotta keep saying that. Great. All Thank right. you so much. All I right. Thank you, that. Helen. My appreciate pleasure. You. Look forward to seeing you Tuesday. All right. We'll <laughs> see you Tuesday. Okay. All right. all right. All right. Let's see who else we got here. I'm trying to get through all of them, B. I almost got everybody. Oh, wait. Did you? Get... My hand. Oh. Yeah. Uh, who is that? Uh, you haven't gotten Ashimo. Her hand's been up since I've been here. Who? Ashimo from Canada. I don't see her. Oh, there you I'm go. Right. I see you. Uh, I see you. Go ahead. Yeah, raise your hand, girl. Go ahead. <laughs> Prophetess, I didn't even know you were here. You must have been way back there. She was in the corner, Dr. Paul. Was... I saw her. She was lurking <laughs> on the corner. Hi, Dr. Paul. Yes, Hi, how are you? Good, good. Not too bad. Um, I've been having serious feet pain, aching, really aching under my feet. Under your feet? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I just do, you know, at home food spa with Epsom salt, but it's really not helping me. What can mm -hmm. I use? Okay. A uh, couple of things. Uh, your feet tingling at the bottom, right? It's not you, tingling. What did you say? It's just aching. They're aching? It's just aching. Yeah. Okay. Your feet are aching. Okay. Yeah. Are they, is there any numbness with that aching? No numbness. Okay, when you say aching, like a toothache type aching? Yes. Okay. Uh doing a lot of dancing lately. <laughs> what I mean, what are you doing a lot of dancing or on your feet a lot? No, no, no. I just find that, you know, if I'm cooking or walking for a long time, it just hurts so bad. Right. Circulation. Circulation. <laughs> circulation. You know, I mentioned the circulation leg for the, for the lower extremities, but also what I'm lending I'm leading to is your back. Make sure you don't have a lower back problem. Any back problems? I do. I okay. do. I have a whole lot of back issues. Yeah, that sounds like, like the a, whole body. The whole yeah, body. Yeah, that sounds like a lower lumbar issue because that stops the circulation from going down to the feet. So L1 through L4 or L5. Got it. So that tends to cause a lot of problems with the back. So that's the sublation, uh, sublation uh, nerve chart. Let me see if I can pull one up. Here he is right here. Uh, one more share with y'all. Okay. okay can you go. see that? There you go. Yes. Okay. See that? See, your issue is down here. See? Lower lumbar. L1 through L5. CL5, lower legs, ankles, feet. Got it? Poor circulation in the legs, swollen ankles, weak ankles, and arches. Cold feet, weakness in the legs, leg cramps. L5, there's a pinching going on right here. Got it? In that area. Can y'all see that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, see right there? So you got to relieve that. So, you know, you can do things like you need an adjustment. Are you a side sleeper also? Oof, 
all over the place, side, back. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I'm everywhere. <laughs> Whatever, trying to get comfortable. Yeah, you may need a chiropractor for an adjustment, you know, for the lower legs. And it sounds like uh, that's what's going on. So keep that in mind. Uh, lower legs can also deal with uh, sciatica. That's mm -hmm. the nerve that goes down the yeah. back of the legs. Yeah, the doctor did say all that because I've done um, scan, right. MRI, it's a structure and all that. So they said it's um, right. Uh, the nerve is pinched there. Yeah, and um, it's sciatica and all of that. In so fact, my right. neck to my shoulders to the upper to the lower is. It's just everywhere. Right. So remember what we talked about earlier. I don't know if you were on the call. We talked about C1 through C7. Got it? C1 through C7 is the eyes, blood supplies to the head, eyes, optic nerve, cheeks, vocal cords, all the way down to the thyroid. Got it? Possible symptoms of headache, nauseous, insomnia, sinus trouble. Just looking at some of these, you know, hay fever, runny nose. See how I'm coming down? Mm -hmm. laryngitis, soreness in the throat, all the way down to stiff neck, and the bursitis in the shoulders. That's the bursitis in the shoulders. So that's why all of this is from C1 to C7. Then you have the thoracic, which is the middle of the back. <laughs> middle of the back deals with T1 through T12. So that's the arms, elbows, down including hands, wrist, fingers, esophagus, <laughs> trachea, all of that stuff. So you have a structural issue. See, there's no herb or anything that's going to stop a structural issue. Got it? So you must have a physical manipulation back into place. Got it? So it's sitting on that nerve. But the last, the, the other piece that I mentioned earlier today was that, remember, what is the problem with that? You have a weak back. You got to strengthen your back again. So what are your exercises? Remember? Got it. It's going to hurt probably right now, but it hurts. It hurts right now. So this is what you can do until you can get to a chiropractor. You can take a Himalayan salt bath and lay on a flat floor. Back of your hands touching the floor. Got it. So you just lay flat just like that on the flat floor, but you have to use heat. You got to use heat. Now it's going to I hurt sleep a on little a heating bit. Pad. I, I sleep on a heating pad all the time. Right, but this is not going to be on the bed this time. This is going to be on the floor. Right? Okay. Okay. <laughs> you got to lay flat on the floor. See, what's happening is you need a manipulation, but see, the muscles can get so tight that when you get adjusted, if the, if the chiropractor adjusts you and puts you back in place, the mm -hmm. other problem is going to happen where if you don't exercise and stretch that back or build that back, in about two or three days, those muscles going to grip right up back. and pull it right back out. Yes, sir. Pull it right back out. It? It's going to pull it right back out. So you got to do the rows. You know, you got to do the rows. You know, the, you know, you got it all hurts. that stuff. It hurts to even do the exercise. Dr. Well, that's Paul. right now. That's right now. That's right now. Mm -hmm. But like I said, when you get adjusted, so you can't do it while you're out of alignment. You're out of alignment right now. Mm. You need to be oh. put in alignment. Then you can do the exercises. Mm -hmm. And that's why you, you know, right now you're experiencing pain because it's nerve bone touching nerve. Let me tell you, I had one when I was in, um, I was in, uh, school, I was in high school and I couldn't figure out what was going on. It felt like somebody was sticking a needle in my side. Yes, yes, yes. Every time I started run excruciating pain, never knew anything about this. So I said, well, wait a minute, wait, maybe I should just go to the gym and work it out. So I got in the gym. You ever see the, uh, in the, in the weight room where you mm -hmm. got weights that you, you sit in and you lay on your back and you push the weights up. You ever mm -hmm. seen anything like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you got these releases that you hit, you release it. And then the weight comes down on you. Right. Mm -hmm. So I remember I was sitting there and I was like, oh my God, this thing is, I, I, maybe I can just work it out. So soon as I hit it, and then the weight came down. I heard my back go just like that. After that, I never had a problem since. I was out of wow. the whole time. Mm -hmm. I was out of alignment the whole time. So it's it's in need because there is a structural issue. You cannot have any herb, no painkiller. Nothing's going to stop that until you relieve the bone or 
contraction. It's called contraction off of the nerve. You got it? Because it can also be a bulging disc. Bulging yeah. disc can also be there. So if you have a bulging disc, MS is an excellent one for you. you got okay. it? That will relieve a lot of your pain. So when you take a green drink, 30 minutes later, take about a, uh, like a half a teaspoon, put it in eight ounces of water, and that's going to relieve some of that to reduce the inflammation in the disc. Got it? That's why they use that MSM for that. Okay. One more question. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, it's whole plant-based um, diet, the same thing as alkaline diet? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Alkaline. Alkaline just means energy. Female okay. principle, right? Or is that male principle? I, I keep forgetting. What is that? Is that male or female, y'all? Is that female? Female. 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 Oh, female. Nice. All right, just check. Thank you out. so much. Yeah. Is that a quiz? <laughs> that was a quiz. That was a quiz. Y'all wow. pass. Y'all wow. pass. Right. All right. Y'all <laughs> pass. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Paul. Thank you. I hope yes, you feel yes, better, yes. okay? Lay on that floor. They're about okay. 30 minutes on the floor. Get your music on there, right? Okay. If okay. It, you know, lay on the floor. All right. All right, family. Let's see. Where are we, Big B? Anything on the chat room before we uh, no, sign? You, you've gotten it very well, Doctor. I have I one I question, Doctor Paul. Okay, yeah, who is that? Question, is that Deborah? This is, yes, this is Deborah. Hey, Deborah. Are you on I'm the phone or are you on the? Uh, what are you on the phone? Or I'm on the Zoom. Okay, go ahead and ask your question. You got a lot of static in the back. I know. I don't even know why. Um, I went to a chiropractor recently, and uh, when he did my neck I got shooting pains all through my left shoulder the shoulder that I had uh had mm -hmm. um rotator cuff surgery on a year ago and mm -hmm. you know I could just feel the nerves is that something to be concerned about or is it just the the bones being taken off my nerve well is there continuous pain right now or was it just when he when he did the adjustment um it's pain, but when he did the adjustment, I felt the nerve, the nerve shooting. Right, but the, what I'm what I'm saying though is, there's still pain now. Not nerve pain. Any pain. Yes, pain. Okay, in that same place. Yes, in that shoulder. Okay, right. See, sometimes, and this is where you have to, um, you have to have a clear understanding. Remember, sometimes if you go to a chiropractor. Remember, what's holding the spine in place is your muscles, right? Yes. Sometimes those muscles are traumatized. You know, traumatized comes from things like accidents, you know, whiplash. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, when you hit like that unexpectedly and didn't re you didn't expect that, your muscles remember that. It's called muscle memory. I know that's right. So your mom your muscles are still like, oh, wait a minute, where's that? What was that? You know, you still on this sort of rebound of the muscles being tense there's emotional drama in the muscle so sometimes when the chiropractor is trying to adjust you he has to soften the muscle with heat first before they assess before they align you and then sometimes they may not be able to adjust you that day you may be that tight so yes. tight they yes. said, you know what, because if he's if he or she starts to try to force it, you're going to be sore the next morning. Ooh, like somebody then chopped you in the back. You're going to feel that pain. That's because they shouldn't adjust you when your muscles are too tight. Got it? Mm. So that means that you should start doing things like Himalayan salt baths. Mm. You should start doing things like heat mm. packs when you're back. And also breathing exercises. You got to do those and stretching. Mm -hmm. Whenever there's tightness, you got to start doing more stretching. Got it? Okay. You got to do more stretching. So in preparation for your for your manipulation or getting back in place, you got to start doing something also. I think the chiropractors take a bad rap. And the bad rap is that they say, well, people go, oh, man, I went to that chiropractor. He almost killed me. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> came out there felt worse than it did when it came out you know they take a bad rap oh. so they gotta tell you they gotta tell you you got work to do i can adjust you but you still got work to do you got me see when you in that that x that 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 accident 
and it happened that trauma is still in your back that's why you ever notice why every accident takes nine months of therapy because that's what they recognize as nine months to retrain the muscle to finally release again that's what it's all about that's what they learned it's going to take us about nine months to get the trauma out of that back because you were so traumatized from this accident and some of you can't sleep at night you say man i still feel like i was in the accident whoa you know i remember it just came out of nowhere you got it so your mom your muscles remember that so that's why it's important that you try to relax as much as possible when someone's adjusting you see especially if you have like you know <laughs> certain understanding about somebody on your back and you say i don't know about this person chatting you know and they on your back and they <laughs> trying to do this and you feel like i'm not trying you're still resisting you got it you got to relax you got to really relax All okay right. thank you mm -hmm. okay deborah uh, Anna. Oh. all right and who else is that galaxy s8 i'll take the galaxy s8 uh, hi, Dr. Paul. Hey. Um, I was having, I'm the one that asked the question about the knee pain. I'm having knee pain. I know I have osteoarthritis in both of my knees. And I started taking the turmeric. And I also take the, uh, what is it? The uh, glu glu um, glucosamine. Glucosamine. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I also take uh, Mobic. Okay. Um, but I'm still having a pain. I'm young and I'm trying to preserve my knees before the doctor gives surgery. Are there, is there any suggestion? Yeah, you have, there's a, there's, um, there's a lot that we have to talk about. Weight has number one on there. How much, are, how much do you weigh? Oh, too much, Dr. Paul. Yeah, see, that's, yeah, so that's, you know, don't have to put it out on airways, but what happens is it's the weight on the knee. That's what it comes down to. And also acid forming food. So you got to go to that website, go to my website, and I want you to get the toxic foods. Got it? Top 10 toxic foods. And then also your water has to be right. Mm -hmm. Usually, inflammation, you have to cool down the, that inflammation. So, right, right now, if you're having all that, you're in an acid state. So the body has no resort but to go to the only place to get the alkaline. I'm going to go to that hip. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to them knees. I'm going to pull it right out of them knees. You got it? Now, my water, my um. so I drink pistol geyser. I drink about a gallon a day because that's that's about for my weight. So mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. up my water. And I lost 50 pounds. Okay, good. That's in the right direction. But ultimately, but it's about your pH. You got it? It's about your pH. Yes, it means that if the body's still in a state of acid, see, you remember it. If it may take you, if it's taking you years to get to that point, it's not going to happen right away. You're going to have to change this around to mm -hmm. move this thing and pull it back the other way. Now you're spinning in the other direction. It's going to take a little while, but you got to alkalize. You got to watch the food choices. That's what the assessments are when you come in and do the assessments. Everyone says, wow, I had no idea. You know, I never had an idea that fermented foods were bad for me. Oh, I was taking apple cider vinegar. They told me it was good for me. Oh, I was, you know, taking the uh, kombucha. I was eating all the stuff. Oh, ain't nobody tell me my meat was bad. You know, all of that stuff. You got me? Yes. So it's a lot of checkpoints that we have to go through with you. So are you set up for an appointment to come in? No, I guess yeah. I need yeah, so you you one thing that may help you also is that MSM. I mentioned MSM. Even though the uh glucosamine with MSM, I would go directly to MSM. Okay, that can help you out. Should I stop taking the uh the turmeric? No, turmeric is fine. Turmeric is good for blood pressure, it's good for everything. So yes, it's it's a, it's a com it's it's an excellent for just keeping the body and resetting the body. So Either way, um, you need an assessment. You need an assessment because now you need to be put on point to what's good, what's bad, and so that you can stay away from the acid-forming foods. Let me tell y'all, family, 
it's the acid forming foods mm -hmm. the food is dead and it's There's no life guys. in it it's, it's, it's everywhere everywhere it's everywhere i would tell you that the majority of 99 percent of the people that come in uh, maybe one percent are alkaline and that's people with a conscious effort and understand alkalinity mostly everybody is acid you know but guess what you can get there to the alkalinity green drinks three times a day i'm gonna tell you it's to change your life green drinks three times a day that's your meal right there meal replacements things like the greens land and sea you do those green drinks three times a day you're gonna see a change you got it all right, family. We got to go. We got to go. We got to go. Big B, thank you so much, man. You want to close us out, family? It has been a pleasure. Go ahead, B. Man, as as always, guys. Out. You know, uh, we you do know that each week that we, if you want to get a copy of the chat, I just put uh, my information in, that, <clears throat> in there. Just send an email to mechavideo at gmail.com to request the chat box information. And we'll get that right out to you, okay? And I always remember that each week, you know, we do what we have to do in order to make sure that things happen. So uh, just keep us in, 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 in your prayers and also in your donations to, set, to share something with Dr. Paul and with, with his app. That is to the using the dollar, yeah. the capital D-R, Dr. Cap, capital P-A-U-L, capital H-O-P. Dr. Paul Hop, that's the, that, with the dollar sign. And guess what? You know what? As, as we always say, listen, none of this comes to us. It all goes back into to making sure that all the programming is done right. It gets all edited and gets right back at you. So send that information to us and we get it to you and make sure that you invite, invite, invite each and every week so that the, the mission grows each and every week because this is family. All did right. You Thank, you, Thank you, Did you do the Venmo? Did you do the Venmo? Yes, uh, we have the PayPal. You can actually just punch PayPal, in PayPal. Okay. Just punch in my number, okay? 215-779-7355. Okay. And you can do PayPal. Okay, okay thank That's you. That's another one, okay? And thank you um, always. <laughs> also, um, I want to say to the family, you know, a lot of this week, you know, there you heard the thing about, of course, J&J &J pulling it back. And I think Friday they're trying to say if they're going to reintroduce this thing. You know, again... Here, you know, people are talking about, you know, whether to take the shot, whether not to take the shot. I think people are speaking because now the lines are empty right now. People uh -huh. are like backing yes, off is. the lines from all lines. Go back to your immune system. No matter what, nobody wants to try to fool you on. Yes, it's yes, about yes. your immune system. That's what it's got. Mm -hmm. And that means that's something that God put there. No that's man right. did that, right? No man put that immune system, that perfect system created by a genius is already inside of you. It belongs to you. You got it? And the body only recognizes righteousness. That means if you're going to put something in this body, I got to be able to identify what it is. I know. Got that's it? Right. So I can't mess with no junk. You know, that's like having a Rolls Royce putting cheap gas in it. Woo! Oh, right. in we bad going. shape. We ain't going there. <laughs> we ain't going there, right? So keep in mind, don't let nobody fool you. It is about your immune system. It is about your your body doesn't need help. It needs food. That's what it needs. You know, it don't need no, 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 nothing that's dead. Dead can't bring you life. Please just remember that because I see all the advertisement and there's a lot of stuff out there telling you this and that. But the only thing you can bank in is what God has already given you. And it's a free gift. It's free. It's free. Because you're here, right? <laughs> I know, that's right. That's All right. right. So as Big B said, you know, the proceeds that we do, we ask that you, you know, if you have, if you're concerned about a donation or something, you can donate to us. It doesn't go to me. It doesn't go to Bill. It just goes for the development of the programs, okay? And for what we're doing in the program, um, somebody's echoing, somebody's echoing, mute yourself, mute yourself. So as far as the programs that we do, it takes time and effort. And Big B, I want to give you a hand clap, buddy. Thank you so much for, yeah, you know, putting the shows. After this is over, you can take this and share it with someone. Uh, we're going to post it on Facebook. And it is a page that we have called Dr. Paul's Herbal Network, Holistic Health Network. And you can be a part of this private group right, and right, you can exactly. get all the shows. So whether it's uh, the Family Tree, also WRD Saturday morning, the Holistic Health Show, or 
green hour which is on sunday at 3 p.m exactly. all right? right so that's why we say help us if you can you know we appreciate every and everything that you're saying we appreciate your questions tonight Most you got definitely some great stuff tonight yes indeed. and you should have got something out of did y'all get anything out of this tonight this was yes. good yes. did yes. you get anything out of this yeah. tonight yeah. all right yeah. all right yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's right. So I want to say to each and every one of you, continue to stay on the path. Yes. We want to say, you know, whatever you do, you know, you know, keep your body in check. Make sure that you're doing the right things because, you know, your body, you have to keep that immune system moving. That means also make sure you're eating right, getting enough rest. Who's getting enough rest? Everybody getting enough rest? Of course not. No, 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 no nobody's getting rest. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's because I can't worry about getting in the line, Dr. Paul. All right. Well, hey, I want to say to everybody, you know, we want to say it's time to go. Yeah. But I want to say God bless y'all. And remember. Big B, yeah. thank you, brother. I appreciate y'all. Yeah, thank you, Dr. Paul. And I want to say, remember, family, be encouraged because if you're breathing, you got a shot. All right. Y'all can dance it on out, can't y'all? Y'all can dance it out, right? Come on. Do you. Good night. Do it. Good night. Do you. <laughs> All right, I see y'all. I see y'all. Happy, happy, joy, joy. <laughs> All right, Dorma, I see you. All right, prophetess. <laughs> That's right, you gotta shake it, y'all. <laughs> All right. If you can't dance, you need, you gotta dance, right? The rhythm of life is in your bones. So move it or else you're gonna lose it. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, everybody shake it to the left. All right. All right. All right. Hands left. Hands left. Hands left. All right. All right. Here you go. <laughs> all right. All right. Y'all jamming out here. <laughs> hey, Bill, they need to have a dance session just for the dancing. Yeah. There you go, there you go. Now you're shaking it down. Now it's shaking it like. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm seeing everybody jamming tonight. All right. See, this is all moving the lymphatic system right here. So if you didn't get your exercise today, you're going to get it at the green on this show tonight, right? <laughs> Then you can tap it out at the same time. How about that? Tap it out. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. See that? See, that's what you got to do. You got to keep it moving. Some of y'all sweating already, right? Some of y'all sweating already. <laughs>